was an attempt to tell the church member that all the things that we're doing in a church, like a pastor speaking behind a pulpit and taking up an offering and, you know, folding our hands to prayer and all this, there's telling you that everything that we're doing in our church services is all pagan. Why are you doing this stuff? You're worshiping false gods. And they admitted that that was an attempt to dissolve the sacred structures of the church worship. They were trying to tear it down, dissolve it, solve it. Then you have to coagulate something in it. You have the rising of the phoenix. The phoenix rising up out of the dissolved remains, the ashes of what it used to be. Resurrection, transformation, coagula, building something in its place. So Lucifer says, the serpent says, yea, hath God said. He just dissolved the word of God. Now he's going to re-coagulate by saying, ye shall not surely die. Ye shall be as God's. You see how it works? Salve coagula. The goy. The goat who is male and female. A new one rising up in its place. New world order to save the earth. Reimagining church. Here's the book that they wrote. Once they've dissolved the old structures of church worship, now they're going to reimagine what the church is going to look like. Imagination. How did they build the Tower of Babel? They imagined it. Go read that. God said, I have to put a stop to this because everything that they now imagine to do, they'll do. That's how the Tower of Babel was. That's how they designed it. They reimagined something. And now we're reimagining the church. Everything in the church now is about imagining, dreaming, conceptualizing, fantasizing rebuilding the church, redoing it once it's been dissolved. It's the same way with the political structures, the financial structures, the health care structure. Every structure in this world is about to be dissolved, maybe soon. And they have to do that so they can put a new one in its place. You have to bring down the two towers, Jacob and Boaz, 9-11. You have to dissolve. And boy, they were. They were dissolved. Literally. And if you believe the story... Um, Osama bin Laden was caught on tape saying he never thought that it would be that bad. Maybe it was. Maybe he was right. Maybe, maybe he never thought that. But the God of transformation did. And so the old ones were dissolved and a new one now is rising up in its place. See how it works? The God of transformation. Let's go back to Romans 12. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Sacrifice yourself, and then be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The word translation comes into effect here. Colossians chapter 1. Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us, to, made us meet to be partakers in the inheritance of the saints in light. Who hath delivered us from the powers of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. That word translation. We're going to see it. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. And here it is. Hebrews 11 verse 5. Remember that number 5? By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before, uh, for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I believe in a transformation. I believe that one of these days the trump is going to sound. The dead in Christ shall rise, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. I believe in that. But it's going to be done the old way, according to the old paths. Be careful and mark them who are all about change. And stop, stop thinking about this. Why can't we just let goats be goats? Why can't we let he-goats be he-goats and nanny-goats be nanny-goats? Why can't we let lambs be lambs? Why can't we let mice be mice? Why can't we let this bacteria or virus be this bacteria or virus? Why does it have to be changed? Why can't we just let humans be humans and follow Christ? No. 
we have to change everything. Psalm 102, verse 26, They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The Bible warns us about those who are always going about to change everything. Let God do the changing in your life. Let Him do it. This symbol of the goy, the male and the female goat, what it does is it visualizes in the heart of mankind that the spirit of Baphomet is already active, already working, and the plan to transform mankind is proceeding as planned. Your prayer and my prayer is that God will allow us just as the ark to rise up above all of us. This is Pastor Mike. God bless you, and I will see you the next time.